Hey everybody. So I went ahead and I did the clear coat on the the pieces that I sprayed the other day. I'll show you what one of them. There's the dome. Clear coat's done on that. And the shoulder bells and the shins and the helmet. And I went ahead and taped the helmet. I saved y'all the watching me do that. It's a nightmare taping, masking everything off, but I'll show you what it's what I got here. If I can get my tripod to sh in the right spot. So there is what I'm at. I've got everything taped off and I'm about to spray the rest of it with this Tamaya uh, it's TS38 gunmetal. It's what I read to be pretty close. It does it's not going to be I don't know if it's exactly accurate to the movie, but it's pretty dang close. I like these. I mean, I wish they made, or I wish they sold the bigger, a bigger thing, but these are good. I used, actually, for the, the gray on the helmet of the Death Trooper, I, that's what I used, but it was TS-40, uh, I believe. Anyways, I'm going to shake it up, and we will spray this baby. Let me see if I can lower you down a little bit. Give me just a second. All right, I got you down here where you can see a little better. So let's spray. Okay guys, I got that sprayed, a uh, pretty good coat. I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna do one coat on it. I mean, I did a pretty decent coat on it, so I'll, I'll show it to you. And this light, it looks a, looks just like a gray helmet right now because I don't have the, haven't peeled off, but when I peel it off, I think it'll look good. This light. I've got this on a mannequin, a styrofoam mannequin head, <laughs> stuck in this tube that I use all the time. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come off of there. It's staying on there pretty good right now, so I'm just going to set it over here and, and hope that it, that it stays. I'm going to lift this up and move it over here so you can see it in a little different light. There it is. Doesn't look bad. Can't wait to peel that tape off. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna leave that tape on there for very long because uh, as soon as I can, I'll, I'll peel it off really gently uh, because I don't want it to stick so bad that I can't get it off and it messes up the other paint. So what I've done in the past, like what I did with the Death Trooper helmet, was as soon as this got enough to where I can handle it a little bit, I'd slowly took that tape off of there. So that's what I'll do. I'll come back whenever I do that and y'all can watch me screw that up. <laughs> All right, see you in a little bit. All right, so I've let it sit for a little while and I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling, peeling this, 
masking tape off of here uh, very gently. I don't want to, it's, it's okay to touch. I don't want to put too much pressure on it though, so I'm going to leave it on this thing here and just kind of slowly start taking, taking some off. You might not be able to see everything that I'm doing, and I'm sorry for that, but it's kind of hard to be really careful with this and, uh, and get it off and film at the same time. So let's see if I can get this side here. Plus, this, it wants to come off of this mannequin, or this uh, mannequin head here, styrofoam head. I'm just going to throw it on the ground. Ugh. Get off of there. I think if I hold it like this, I can get it a little better. I'm just going to have to do it with one one hand. One side. I don't know where to start on this. spray right there but I can fix that with a some touch-up paint I guess I didn't smash it down good enough right there all right it's hard to it's hard to mask stuff off like this it's one of the most difficult things for me at least because I'm super impatient. Come on. Looks good so far. I don't know if it's it's supposed to be that much of a difference. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna dull it down a little bit too because I'm going to uh, kind of not really scruff it up, but I'm gonna run some steel wool over top of it, and then I'm going to uh, polish it or wax it. Because the finish is kind of different on the Rogue One helmet. It's it's not really a gloss. It's kind of like a it's a semi gloss, but it's it's kind of a funky finish. Come on. So far, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty cool. Okay, let's do this now. This one, I might have to use my left hand. It's a little funky because it's wrapping around those tubes. So I'm going to get the middle section out first. And 
them in, start getting these out. There it is. Now let's get the dome. Yeah, I'll get the dome and put it on top of it. I'd say it's looking pretty good. I like it. Let me raise it up here so you can see. And like I said, it's going to get dulled down a little bit. Man, that looks cool. <laughs> so cool. All right, so that's uh, some painting. I've still got a little bit of painting. I forgot to clear coat the dang uh, chest piece yesterday, so I need to clear coat that. I'll clear coat that tonight, and then we'll come back and I'll do the paint on the on the chest piece. Uh, pretty much the same way I did this, masking it off, and. Uh, Man, it looks cool. And then painting it. Sorry, I got sidetracked. It's, it just looks cool. It's so shiny right now. It's not going to be as shiny. But that gray looks really cool. Or that gunmetal. Alright, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you on the next one. We'll do some more of this. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.